Talking about Y2K, the computer virus, is gonna mess up computers. Like we're worried, huh? Like we're gonna wake up on New Year's Day and have clean credit and get mad. <laughs> we're gonna be like, Happy New Year! Let's go to Kmart. <laughs> A lot of people in my neighborhood are talking about Y2K. They be like, Yo, man, did you hear about Y2K? And that's all they say because that's all they know. <laughs> there are gangbangers talking about that. Hey, man, did you hear about Y2K? Do we get along with them? <laughs> I've been working now, can you tell? Yeah, right. I got those Tybo tapes. Actually, not the actual tapes, I recorded the commercial. <laughs> I only could do one side. <laughs> and so when I get into a fight, I'm like, hey guys, go around. You know, thank God for politically correctness of watching CNN and they're going to change one of the Crayola crayons. Indian red will no longer be Indian red because it's mean, so Native Americans. And that's good because I wouldn't want to pick up my crayons one day and pick up lazy brown. <laughs> Unemployed black. <laughs> Can't grab for shit yellow. <laughs> Faggot pink. <laughs> Trailer park white. We gotta draw the line somewhere. <laughs> Why is it when you say minority collect aluminum cans, people say, look at him, he is struggling to survive. <laughs> when you see a white guy, he's recycling. <laughs> Why is it when a minority commits a crime, the news, the media, they run away and tell you what race he is, for example. Two African Americans and a Latino man held up a liquor store. When a white guy commits a crime, they never tell you. A unknown assailant <laughs> has been praying the neighborhood. Authorities believe he might have Latino background. <laughs> or why is it when a bunch of Latinos hang out together or black people hang out together, they say, that's a gang over there. But when you see white boys together, it's a fraternity. <laughs> And Latinos, we always look at the check like there's something wrong. Uh, nah, there's something wrong here. <laughs> nah, 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 man, something wrong here. Shit, no one here ordered tax, nah. Hey, 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 start the car, man, start the car. <laughs> we gotta get the hell out of here. <laughs> and Latinos and blacks, we are notorious for not tipping. For us, it, 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 we paid, eh? <laughs> we will find any reason not to tip that guy. No, 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 I don't like the way we're looking at me the whole time, man. <laughs> the way he looked at me like this. <laughs> Screw him, man. We, oh. oh, man, I like... Oh, man. Oh, I just broke up with my girlfriend, though. I, I cheated on her 35 times. <laughs> she cheated on me one time, I told her, oh, you whore. <laughs> Don't be playing with my feelings. <laughs> when you break up, you gotta start all over. First, you gotta move back to your mom's house. <laughs> then you have to get back into shape. Because when you're in love, you start eating. And eating. When you're in love, the whole world's delicious. See, sir, you're in love, right? Oh, 
That's the only reason we beg the girl back. Not because we want her back, because we know no one wants our fat ass. <laughs> but we cry until, baby, take me back. Look what you did to me, we're okay, really no hungry. <laughs> and I hate dating because I went out on this date on this, with this girl, and at the end of the night, I, I expected something, and I didn't get nothing. <laughs> I spent $85 on her. <laughs> I know $85 is not a lot for you guys, but for me, that's a lot of money. She said we can hug. <laughs> hug? Wait, you going on a trip or what? So let me tell you, ladies, if you spend $85 on me, I'm going to give it up. <laughs> I will let you know. <laughs> look, look, I know you spent all this money on me. I'm just letting you know that we're going to get jiggy with it, okay? <laughs> I don't want you to spread rumors that I'm a cheapskate. I'm a little hood rat, okay? We don't need a hotel. Just go to that park right there. Because <laughs> I met that woman last night. She said, um, I like a guy who does it to me rough. I said, good, because my car broke down. We're walking. <laughs> You know you have a crappy car when tow trucks follow behind you. <laughs> hey, take this out, man. Take the guy out. Cause I have a messed up car, man. I'm broke too. You know you're broke when you pass by aluminum can and say, "Damn, I should have picked that up." <laughs> oh man. Oh. Before I go, man, we know what we need here. We need a statue just for Latinos. Yeah, right? Because, man, you know what? Uh, we're not, we're going to keep coming. Because, you know, white people have a Statue of Liberty. We need one just for us. We'll have it at the border like this. <laughs> then at night time. Hey, thank you very much. No se vaya, porque hay mucho más de que lo...